hello everyone we are back today with another rolling tray video i know I, I i have a lot of videos concerning rolling trays but this seems to be y'all's favorite thing for me to make and i've noticed that the little square trays that i were used i was using in the previous videos have sold out in the dollar trees so this is what we'll be using it is larger than the metal serving tray so we'll be using the cookie pan one dollar dollar tree it's just bigger it's about 13 by 9 inches so what we'll do first is spray paint this is the spray paint that i'll be using that i got from walmart um flat black so what we'll do first is spray paint the tray then cover it in epoxy because the spray paint will peel with the transfer tape on this type of tray. I've tried it two or three times and the spray paint peeled right up. It didn't do that with the serving tray. So we'll spray paint it epoxy, apply our design and epoxy again. Now how easy does that sound? So let's get started. Okay, so as usual, I will only be spray painting the top of my tray. I do not spray paint the bottom, but you can feel free to do so. And again, this is the spray paint that I'll be using that I got from Walmart, Rust-Oleum, and Flat Black. So you're just gonna spray paint. And again, I am using the cookie tray, cookie pan from Dollar Tree, since the metal serving trays are sold out. Once this spray paint is dry, then we'll apply epoxy to make sure that our design does not pull up the spray paint. Now we're going to go ahead and mix the epoxy. Once again, I got this from Michaels. You can also get it from Hobby Lobby or you can order it online. They do have it on Amazon. So we're gonna mix that in. And it does seem like a lot, but I will be using this for other projects while I'm working on this. I'm gonna add it to the ashtray in the jar, and I'll show you how I do that. And two other items that I'm working on. Because I know it'll be some left over. I got a little heavy handed and put way too much in the cup. So I am just scraping out the sides. You have to make sure you stir evenly and add equal parts A and B from the epoxy. It does not come already mixed. So once you get that out, we are going to stir and you stir until it is completely clear. All right, so after the spray paint is dry, we're going to go ahead and add our epoxy that has been mixed. And again, we're adding the epoxy on top of this spray paint because I've experienced with this type of um, tray, the spray paint peels right up with the transfer tape that I use. So we're just going to spread this across evenly and it will give it a shiny effect to lock in the spray paint and I do use my gloves to spread it you can get a silicone brush but this is the easiest way for me as you can see it spreads very easy with the glove it will not come through the glove I know some people panicked in my last video saying they couldn't watch it because I was using the glove. And if you try to use a paintbrush with bristles, just really not going to work. You won't be able to reuse the brush anyway. You'll have to throw it out. And I am taking my finger and rubbing along, along the edges and the inner corners to make sure that everything is covered. And you can also use a heat gun to get rid of any bubbles. But usually once mine dries, there are no bubbles. But to be on the safe side, 
you can use a heat gun. If you do not have a heat gun, you can use the lighter, a blow dryer, hair dryer. And I saw someone said that they used a straw, so they blow through the straw to pop the bubbles. So whatever works for you. So I'm going to spread this across every corner. And again, I did not spray paint the bottom. I never do, but it's up to you. So we are going to let this sit overnight, about 12 hours. Well, it takes 12 to 24 hours to cure, but it'll be dry when we come in tomorrow. And then we'll add the design and another layer of epoxy to seal in the design. So I will see y'all in a minute. All right, guys, so we are back the very next day. It has been probably about 24 hours by now. So this is how it looks once the epoxy has hardened. See, it's very shiny, a smooth surface. This is the design that I'll be adding. I did use the um, Oracle 651 to create the design. <clears throat> and this is the transfer tape that it is on. And I'll be able to share in the description of how you can cut this out yourself using your Silhouette or Cricut cutting machine. I did use a Silhouette 3. I'm going to lay it on. And you may have bubbles. I have to go back in and add my M because it ripped off when I was weeding out the letters. So that's how you apply the design. And then you pull it off with the transfer tape. This tape is transfer right. I'll be sure to leave the link below of where you can purchase it in which I got it from U.S. Cutter and it does have bubbles so we'll use the heat gun to get rid of the bubbles but also to seal in the design we do apply another layer of epoxy to the top of it so that it'll be a smooth surface And we want to put that transfer tape to the side because it can be used again for another project. And as you can see, there are bubbles. But we will be getting rid of that with our heat gun. If you do not have a heat gun, like I said, you can use a hair dryer. Or you can take a knife and kind of pop the bubbles and rub them out. So we'll be working on that and here's my ashtray. I got a pack of 12 of these from Amazon. Also the jar purchased from Amazon as well and a lighter. And I also have the designs for the ashtray and jar here. And I'll just be putting a leaf on the lighter. So we would do that the exact same way that we did the tray and once you're done with that we'll be all done so here's my little design for the ashtray I'm putting it on the inside and I will put epoxy on the inside to seal it in which is totally up to you so that's how it looks. And then the jar, same way, like so. Putting the d design on the jar. I was gonna add a leaf to the lid, but I'll leave it like this. And again, I'm gonna fix the M on my tray. Then I'll be showing you the finished product. So that is it, you guys. Start to finish. And I got my leaves. I'm gonna put this on the lighter. 
And again, these were cut out on the Silhouette Cameo 3. And I'll leave the link below of how to create and cut the design on the Silhouette 3, just in case you have not seen the video yet. That's how that looks. I'm going, I'm going to cut out my M and then I'll come back and show you guys the end and result. So here is the finished product, finally. It didn't take that long. It wasn't that hard at all. It does have a few bubbles in it, but once it's dry, they will be gone. So that is how it looks. We have the dry ashtray and lighter as well. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to the video, and I'll have more coming, you guys.